There's something amazing about the feeling you get when you're on stage and the microphone's there and you lean into it a little bit, you feel the guitar vibrate against your ribs and uh, you know that you're communicating. When you feel it coming back from the audience and there's that intimate moment where you share something beautiful. That's why I play music. If I could describe the joy that I get out of music, you know, you listen to it on one level and you feel it. If you can play it, that's better still. I think if I could be a note in the air, I would do that. My dad is a wilderness survival teacher and uh, taught me when I was very young to love the outdoors. So I love backpacking and climbing and skiing and hiking. I like to get out on the motorcycle and ride. Um, anything that's outside where the air is clean. I got a call from a friend of mine just after I left the church and uh, we were talking about what I was going through and uh, he's a performer. Uh, he had a bunch of concerts to do down in California and he said, why don't you come down, you got to get out of there. Come down and join me on these shows. So I go down there and uh, the first show that we did uh, sold out crowd in Berkeley, California. And he was on stage introducing me and he said, this is my friend Shane Jackman and he just left the Mormon church. This was probably a week after the vote on Proposition 8. And I walked out and the crowd erupted to their feet, standing ovation before I'd even played a note, which totally blew me away. So I'm a sixth generation Mormon. I served a mission for the LDS Church. I learned leadership. I learned service. I'm very appreciative of my family and the great values that they taught me. When I was young, I studied a lot. You know, even as a teenager, I learned a lot about science. And I learned a lot about culture, and uh, when I was really young, some of those things began to conflict with what I'd been taught in the Mormon church, but you, you keep those separate. You don't, you don't let them mix. At some point in my life, though, I pulled out that wall that separated the two bins of knowledge. The most painful thing I've ever endured was when I came to the realization that the foundational claims of the Mormon church were not true. And to face that is frightening. I felt like I was walking the plank. You know, I walk out there to the end of the board and look down into this misty darkness. And, um, but I knew I had to. It was a matter of integrity for me. And as I stepped off, what I saw and what I felt was joy and friendship and love and empowerment. The music became free. Not just what I wrote, but what I listened to. And the people that I saw just the strangers on the street corner I felt this love for, this compassion for that I'd never felt before because it was no longer burdened with the responsibility that I might have to convert them to Mormonism. We're brothers on the same level. My name's Shane Jackman. I'm a father, I'm a songwriter, and a recording artist, and I'm an ex-Mormon.